I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my monthly overview for Capricorn for September. Yay, Capricorns rule. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I'm a Capricorn. All right, so what's happening this month? You know, it can all come through for us Capricorns this month. I certainly hope so. All right, let's go through it. So first of all, in your sign, Pluto is coming out of its retrograde transit, not until a little later in the month on the 23rd. In fact, a lot of activity this month is happening in the last couple of weeks. And that's not to say there's nothing happening the first week that straight away on the third there's a sun is the trine Pluto so we've got the sun is in your let's have a look seven eight ninth house um, up until the 22nd and uh, and Pluto of course in your sign is we've just gone through so this is a very empowering influence um, and in the ninth house it's almost like your dreams hopes and wishes can come true now so you want to stay the course this month Capricorn there are certain things happening that's going to help you sort of tweak things and get back on course if you started to you know um, go off on a tangent uh, but the best thing to do is always keep your eye on the prize okay when you when you can keep your eye on the end result and when you have a grand plan that's bigger than yourself then all the other little frustrations and details that happen through the month can just sort of slide away they say can part as you walk through life when you when your vision is larger and grander then everything else as you walk through just parts away for you okay so something to something to keep in mind and it's all down to your goal setting um, and certainly with the new moon this month on the 24th in your solar 10th house so let's stay on business for a while our, our perfect um, topic uh, shortly followed by love of course and money so the new moon in your solar 10th house this is this area of your career your business your work it's the area where you can make a difference in life through through business and through your career and as yes we know we're very career oriented we like to make a difference so the new moon is always about new beginnings it's like leaving behind what's not working opening up to new beginnings so uh, the sun moves into this area on the 23rd the new moon on the 24th mercury the planet of communication and commerce is going to be in your career zone for most of the month from the 2nd through to the 27th and um, venus planet of love and money is going to move in at the end of the month which means it'll be there next month so it carries this nice vibration of work through so something can really you know kick off this month and certainly on the 13th we've got an opposition between um, Mercury and Uranus which means something can really you know come together quite quickly around uh, mid-month and the Uranus is in your solar fourth house so all to do with your family self-nurturing as well um, and it's it's then the full moon is in this area as well so it's almost like what happens on a business level has some influence or alteration or changes that can also happen around your home it has some level of significance let's say um all right so the full moon also in this solar fourth house on the ninth can it that sort of sets up almost like a discussion or highlights things that you know you may want to change then you can get full moon gives you more clarity i mean is it a little unsettling sure for me it is i was born on a full moon so I, you know i can find it uh you know quite un unsettling and challenging some months depending on where it is and how it's affecting and and triggering of my personal chart um, but it it's it is a trigger point and 
um, with the full moon, but it can just help you get clarity, even if it highlights to you the things that are not working. So, you know, by, by default, you find out what it is that's going to work better in your life. Okay, so um, yeah, anyway, us Capricorns are not scared of a challenge here and there, are we? You know, we can, we can, we can embrace that, particularly when we know at the end of that challenge, it's going to lead us to a, a, a better place, bigger and better things to come. Now, um, Jupiter is sitting in our solar ninth house. So it just moved in, I think it was July. It's going to go right through to July and uh, next year. So Jupiter stays in each sign for uh, a 12 month period, you know, 11, 12, 13 month period. So let's, let's say an even year. It's in your solar eighth house. This is an area where people can come forward to support you in, in all sorts of ways, financially, with projects, um, business projects. And so in some way, uh, people will come through and reach out to you. And all you have to do is keep your end of the bargain up. Say thank you, of course. Be, be grateful. Gratitude is like one of the greatest um, healers in life, as well as one of the greatest energies to attract more of what you want in life okay so um, don't ever forget to say don't ever take anything for granted in life you just never really know what's around the corner so if somebody is prepared to reach out and help you in some way and support you in your endeavors and your dreams goals and wishes then uh, yeah let's be grateful about that um, all right, now Mars is going to move into your the sign before you mid month. This is going to like really highlight your uh, intuition and spark that intuition up, up uh, further. If you're not following your intuition, then you really get an opportunity this month to work with it more and sometimes you know to work with it it's a conscious effort it's like developing it's like getting to know yourself a little bit better and getting to know another dimension of yourself and you know any relationship whether it's a relationship with yourself or somebody else it takes work so you've got to work at it and um, this month you're going to have an opportunity to work on developing your intuition and you're a very logical person Capricorn so if you can get Get that logic and intuition together oh well in my mind that's a winning formula okay um, friendships are very important this month as well uh, so friendships that offer you stability almost like family oriented friendships can come together uh, and this is in your 11th house also that 11th house can indicate a payday as well so something can start um, something can start or kick off this month that has some permanency about it which can be quite lucrative and it may not be exactly what you had in mind but uh, it can perhaps lead it's like a stepping stone so um, if you you know think that if you can look at what happens this month as this is like the start of something it might be the continuation of something that you're working on which finally you know you can see there's a light at the end of the tunnel it's finally coming to fruition all in all is very very good vibrations around Capricorn this month and things so think the best okay and as I always say be idealistic but throw in a touch of realism and you can't go wrong have a great month Capricorn I hope it's fabulous for all of us and something exciting it happens for you each and every one of you love and luck to you I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching